Hi, this is Ilka Morse at CDLC. Um, what I'd like to do today in this video is to show you how you can work with the Thumbnail Manager in ContentDM. ContentDM automatically generates thumbnails for all of your images and your PDFs. However, for any other digital files that you're uploading into ContentDM, uh, there are only default thumbnails. So let me show you where you can see these. Under Edit Project Settings, Images and Thumbnails, and Thumbnails, here is where you can manage your thumbnails. And as you can see here, we have all the default thumbnails and what they're associated with as far as the digital files. So let me click out of here for a minute so I can show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go to New York Heritage. Here we had a project where audio files were being uploaded. Um, each file was a track out of um, an album. There were actually several albums we did. So each time we changed albums, we changed the thumbnail associated with that digital file for a audio file. Uh, to the associated album covered. What happened was we took a picture, a JPEG of the album cover, and in this case it was sent to me, and I created a thumbnail from that JPEG. And this is an important thing to remember when you're working in that thumbnail manager in Content DM, the thumbnail has to be a JPEG, which means usually your um, a file that you're creating the thumbnail uh, from needs also to be a JPEG. Okay, and you can see here that as we uploaded different um, tracks, we changed the thumbnail associated with them. Okay, now let's go to my desktop. When I create uh, thumbnails currently on a Windows machine, I use a free piece of software called Easy Thumbnails uh, to create my uh, to create my thumbnails. So in this particular example, what I'm going to do is show you a very generic thing that can be done. In PowerPoint, I imported my uh, the logo for CDLC. I then created a text box which I filled as white. Now this will obviously depend on how you want everything to look typed video in it, made it center, and, and then I selected um, the text box and the image and right clicked and I saved it as a picture, okay? And it, as far as save as type, remember that if you're putting this into that thumbnail manager, you need to have it as a JPEG and then you can click on save. I've already uh, done that, so here is the JPEG that I created that time. Okay. Going back to my desktop, I then open up my easy thumbnail. I find the um, JPEG. Here it is right up here. I click on that and I make my thumbnail. What happens here is the thumbnail generator generates a thumbnail and they all, it always puts TN underscore. And you can actually have a folder of five or six or seven uh, JPEGs in there and it'll make thumbnails of all of them for you if you want to do that. So that's how I created my, my thumbnail and also um, how I created one that didn't exist. I didn't ex uh, create it from a, a JPEG that I had, but um, I, created, I created the JPEG. And I also just took my, um, my CDLC logo and created a thumbnail from that for something else I want to show you today. Now, going back to the project client, I'm going to go to edit project settings again, thumbnails, thumbnails, and I'm going to add my thumbnail. So here I have video files, and I'm going to only associate one extension, that's period MP four, so it's only when I upload MP4s that this um, thumbnail will go. I have to choose the thumbnail. So there it is, thumbnail CDLC logo video. There it is, and I click on OK. And if I go down here, you'll see that there 
is the thumbnail I want every time I import uh, an MP4. Okay. So let me just cancel out of that and cancel out of this for a minute. And I want to show you something else. I've brought an image that was already up on the New York Heritage server. Um, I brought a copy back down to my uh, project client. And you can see right now, if I right click on that, I can replace the thumbnail. So if you have any digital files currently in New York Heritage and they have a default thumbnail that you're not happy with, you can bring a copy of that item back to the project client and you will have created some kind of thumbnail that you like. And this is where you would be able to go in and click on replace, browse to you find that thumbnail. In this case, I'm gonna take my logo, click on okay, and it's replaced the thumbnail. It has not replaced my image, it's replaced my thumbnail, okay? or I should say it hasn't replaced the item that I have up in New York Heritage. It's only replacing the image. And to show you that quickly, I'll go back up, and I've actually done this on another one. So here, I had an image, it's in Chichuli's sculpture in the Atlanta Botanical Garden. I had it already up on the server, and I brought it back down. I replaced the thumbnail with the logo, but as you can see, my image is still here. Now this is probably not what you'd want, want to do, but this was an easy example to show you. Also what I'd like to um, show you is again over here, this is how you replace items also. If you have um, an item that's skewed, that's fuzzy, uh, for whatever reason, and you want to replace it with a newer, better image, um, this is how you would do it. This is a single item that we're doing. If it was a compound object, you would go up to view structure and put it into um, spreadsheet view. I can't do that showing you this right now. I don't know whether I could do another one. Let me just see if I can quickly. I don't know if I have any. Um, this might be in there that way. Let me just find out. I'll add to project and bring back and double click on it. Yes, okay. So there's my compound object that I brought. I go into view stru structure, go into view spreadsheet. Here are my items. And remember this one is just a thumbnail. You can only replace the thumbnail for the object metadata record because there is no image associated with that um, metadata record. For page metadata records, I can replace the thumbnail or replace the item. The important thing to remember on replacing the item is the new digital file has to have exactly the same name as the old digital file, which you can go and check all the way over here to see what you call that digital file in case you've forgotten, okay? So that's actually covering your thumbnails, the different ways you do it, and replacing um, the actual image for the item. If you have any questions about any of the content in this video, please contact your CDLC staff. Thank you.